short, mommy. Wait, guys, guys, guys. Hi, guys. Karen here, and today I'm going to make a really quick cheesecake recipe for you guys. And today I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to use my Le Creuset pie plates. And uh, as you can see, I have company. Hi, guys. I'm and, the person uh, that's supposed to be in all the videos, but is it? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just I'm going to give you a rundown of the ingredients. I'm actually going to use both of them. I'm going to use both of my pie plates today. I went to the farmer's market and I got some really delicious blueberries. Um, and you can smell them. I mean, they're so good and sweet. And like I said, this is my favorite time of the year because all you can get all your fresh fruit and vegetables at the farmer's market and they taste so good. So, enough rambling, let's get into it. So today you're gonna need uh, 10 sheets, or those 10 like graham crackers. Actually, I have 14 in here for both um, pie crust, and then I have one fourth of sugar here. You're gonna need two cups of fresh blueberries or frozen blue blueberries if you like. You're gonna need um, one fourth cup of margarine or butter this is actually butter so you can mix it with your graham cracker crust you're gonna need two eggs you're gonna need three packages of cream cheese and this is one and one half cup this is one and a half cup of sugar and you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla this is so Maya's question is if you're only making one cheesecake um, you can you know actually you don't have to split it you could put all of this in one container or one dish you would just stick with the 10 uh, sheets of um, graham cracker crust so but this is really simple really easy okay so now I'm going to add the 1 4th cup butter to 1 4th cup sugar with the 14 little sheets of graham cracker that I've already crumbled in the food processor and you're just gonna mix all of this together. <laughs> it didn't break everything up. <laughs> it's a great way to use up all of your fresh fruit or some of your fresh fruit that's overly ripe. And if you need be, just add a little bit more butter to it. Okay, so I did add a little bit more butter to it, a little bit more being one third of a stick of, of butter to make sure it's really all nicely mixed. But that's also because I added four extra pieces of the graham cracker so I can make two um, cheesecakes. Okay, so now I have the graham cracker um, in t inside the pie plate. So now I'm just gonna mash it down inside and make sure it's really tight. I'm not actually trying to fill up the sides I because I don't really like that, I like the crust more on the bottom. That's just my preference, but if you want it to go up the sides, make sure you add a few more graham crackers in order to achieve that. I am actually being forced to make a cheesecake because Madison wants one and uh, it has been begging me to make these. Why don't you use a spatula? Because I like the fork. That's Maya, guys. I was just trying to be that person from the audience. But... <laughs> the person from the audience. I like the fork. It's much faster. Excuse me? When you make the cheesecake, is it supposed to be level on the bottom? No. <laughs> anyway. There's more on this. This is there. working just fine, Maya. That's giving me anxiety. Please me okay. We beg you. <laughs> All right. It's not level. Oh, thank God. There's nothing in that corner. Don't make dips in holes. There's no dips in holes. There's a huge hole over there. Okay. We're gonna get fired like from I the show. <laughs> it's like the peanut gallery. Yes, it Except is. Except the host will throw rotten tomatoes at us. All right, so we'll be right, okay. So now that it's all level, can we move the fork, please? Thank you. Maya, stop. Okay. 
Okay. Let's start. We're going to add our blueberries. Oh, I didn't realize that was what order that went in. Okay. Can we put more blueberries? I forgot to put Yeah. Them. Actually, do we want like a ton of blueberries? Yeah. We should just probably just make it level. Yeah. Just make sure, you know, you put as many blueberries as you like. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of, I love fruit on its own, but I'm not a big fruit fan when it comes she to desserts. Like hot fruit but this won't be yeah. hot this is a cheesecake okay so now we have it's our blueberries hard. they've already been washed and everything and now i'm going to add the um, egg mixture to my cream cheese mixture and then yeah so in here let me just explain again so i have three packages of cream cheese one and a half cups of sugar one teaspoon of vanilla and now i'm going to add two eggs to this and and mix it with my hand mixer so i'll be right back okay so this is our cream cheese mixture with the two eggs the sugar and the vanilla all mixed up and ready to go wait mom wants to use it again so like the okay so now i'm going to add the cream cheese filling to the top okay and now i'm just gonna mix this all in Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 30 minutes and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay guys, so this is the final product. They, they were in the oven for 30 minutes and yes, you need to let them sit for at least 45 minutes for them to completely cool down. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys try the recipe. It's really quick and easy. And, and also, you can use the entire cheesecake recipe in one um, actual pie dish if you like. I just separated it into two. And um, now Madison should be happy, the girls should be happy, so now they have cheesecake. And like I said, this is a great thing to do um, if you have fresh blueberries and you know your family's not gonna eat them all by a certain time, or you have really ripe fruit and you wanna use it. So I will see you guys in the next one, bye.